We are all exposed to different sounds daily. Some are soothing to the ears, while others are loud and unbearable noise that no one can tolerate for long, let alone want to experience in the first place. But have you ever wondered, after hearing an extremely loud noise, what the loudest sound humans have ever been exposed to could be? Is it the car horns in the street, the sound of airplane engines during landing and takeoff, or even the noise of heavy machinery in factories and workshops? The truth is, all these sounds are relatively minor compared to a specific sound recorded back in 1883, which is considered the loudest sound ever recorded in history. To determine the loudest sound recorded in history, we first need to understand how we hear sounds and how we measure whether a sound is loud or not. Sound travels in the form of waves or vibrations. These waves are disturbances that move through a medium known as the transmission medium, with air being the most common medium in our daily lives. When we speak or produce any sound, it causes air molecules to vibrate hundreds of times per second, creating areas of high and low pressure. These sound waves travel from their source until they reach our ears, enabling us to hear. The stronger the sound, the more intense these vibrations become. The intensity of sound is measured using a unit called decibels, or dB. For example, complete silence is zero decibels. Whispering is about 30 decibels. Normal conversation, like the one you're hearing from me now, is around 60 decibels. At these levels, sounds are generally tolerable and harmless. But once sound exceeds 85 decibels, it can pose a serious threat to the ears. For instance, loud traffic noise ranges between 85 and 90 decibels. Ambulance sirens can reach up to 120. Airplane engines during takeoff can produce around 140 decibels. All these are still within the realm of natural sounds. Now, let's travel back to 1883, on the island of Krakatoa in Indonesia, where the world witnessed the loudest sound in Earth's history. A volcano on the island erupted in one of the most violent geological events in Earth's history. The powerful explosions from the volcano produced a sound measured at 310 decibels, the loudest sound ever recorded. To put that into perspective, 310 decibels is so loud that it could kill anyone near the source purely from the sound's intensity. For reference, a sound intensity of 150 to 160 decibels is enough to rupture eardrums from a relatively distant range. Now imagine a sound of 310 decibels. The sound of the eruption was so loud that it was heard over 5,000 kilometers away a distance roughly equivalent to traveling from New York to London and back again. The sound wave from the explosion circled the globe three times. One account tells of an island about 17 kilometers away from Krakatoa. When the volcano erupted, every single one of its 3,000 residents died from the sound's shock wave alone. Another notable story involves a British ship named Norham Castle about 65 kilometers from Krakatoa during the eruption. The captain reported that half of the crew suffered ruptured eardrums. The explosion also caused a catastrophic tsunami with waves reaching 30 meters above sea level, destroying 165 villages and coastal settlements and claiming around 36,400 lives. Now, why does sound this intense cause such devastation? It all comes down to pressure fluctuations. As sound intensity increases, it creates extreme changes in air pressure. At certain points, these low-pressure zones can reach a state called rarefaction, essentially creating a vacuum. When this happens, typically at sounds above 194 dB, the sound doesn't just travel through air molecules, it starts physically pushing the air itself, leading to what's known as sonic shock waves. Interestingly, there have been other loud sounds, though none quite as extreme. One of these was man-made, the detonation of the atomic bomb over Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which reached an estimated 224 decibels. Following that is the 204 decibel sound recorded during the first stage launch of NASA's Saturn V rocket. Another notable sound came from the Chelyabinsk meteor in Russia in 2013. 
Weighing about 100,000 tons, it exploded at an altitude of 25 kilometers, producing a sound of 180 decibels audible from five kilometers away. The animal kingdom also has its fair share of loud sounds, especially in the depths of the ocean. Blue whales, the largest creatures on Earth, produce underwater sounds reaching 188 decibels, but they aren't the loudest. That title goes to the sperm whale, which can emit clicks up to 230 decibels using specialized air sacs instead of vocal cords. On the opposite end of the spectrum, the quietest sound ever recorded is the Brownian motion of particles in gases or liquids, measured at minus 23 decibels. Right above that is the sound recorded in Microsoft's anechoic chamber, the world's quietest room at minus 20.6 decibels. And with that, we've covered some of the loudest and quietest sounds ever recorded in history. Who made it to the end of the video? If you did, you're awesome. Drop us a like before you go, so we know how many stayed until the end. And if you have suggestions for future topics, let us know in the comments. See you next time.